Today we're going to talk about how to start an online store. Welcome to another episode of Global Banking Finance Review. My name is Deepika Lobo. It's believed that by 2040, 95% of all sales will happen online. This represents a huge potential for earnings that you can explore. All you need to do is start an online store and you can reach out to the millions of online shoppers and sell your product. The demand for online selling is growing every year. If you have a product to sell, you can start an online store and establish a presence in the world of e-commerce. If the idea interests you, then watch this video to know how to start an online store. The basic prerequisite to start an online store is to have one or more products to sell. Product can be anything. It can be a book that you have written, cookies that you have baked, a painting that you have created, or a device that you have manufactured. Could be a product that you are already selling online or can be a new offering. What you need to note is that there would be similar products like yours available online. If you want to run an online store, you need to be able to differentiate your products from competitors. Try to create a niche offering that will help you to find buyers easily. Establish a business model. Creating a unique product will allow you to sell it to the price of your choice. Pricing is an important aspect to keep in mind while starting an online store. You need to create a business model that explains how will you create your product, how much money is involved in making the product, and at what price will you sell it. You can define your business model and put it down on paper in the form of a business plan. A planned approach to business will help you to do things systematically. It's not necessary to have a unique product. You can even have a product that's commonplace in the market, like a dress. You can even buy the dress from someone else and sell it online. The key here is the pricing. You need to buy at a low price and sell at a high enough price to get a profit. In online sales, volume makes a difference. Even if you earn a very small profit, if you are able to sell large quantities, you can make a neat profit. Once you decide on your own product, do a test run to find out the reaction of the market. You can register on a popular online store like Amazon and sell your product. Find out if customers are willing to buy your product. Take their feedback and use it to improve your product. If you do not want to sell on other portals, sell it using social media. Promote the test run of your product on websites like Facebook and Instagram. A test run will help you find out if you can get the price you demand. You can always know how effective your business model is. It also helps you find out issues related to product delivery, packaging, sales, etc. The experience you gain in this test launch will be helpful later. Launch your own website. It's now time to launch your own website. First, decide on a name for your online store. Try to get a website address that has your brand name. Registering a website is easy and you can do it on any of the online web registrars. If you are proficient in web design, you can add content that is well designed yourself. Else, you can hire someone to do it for you. Remember that appearance of the website will help to attract customers. Stock up the product and plan for delivery. Whatever may be the product you are dealing, make sure you have sufficient stock. Deciding stock levels is tricky. You need adequate stock to be able to deliver orders on time. Decide on how you will deliver the product. You can partner with a courier or logistics company to deliver products on your behalf. Once you're established, you can think of having your own delivery fleet. Add e-commerce functionality to your website. Your website must be e-commerce enabled. This will help you create an online catalog where customers can view your product online and add them to a virtual shopping cart. Once they are done shopping, they can place an order and make the payment. You need to enable online payment on your websites for convenience of customers. You can leave the technical aspects to professional e-commerce developers or do it yourself if you know web development. Market your online store and start selling. Once your online store is up, Launch it formally. You can use social media to promote your website. You can also place online ads to promote your online store. Have a marketing plan in place to promote your store. It's very important that your initial customers are extremely satisfied. You can then look forward to them promoting your products to others. If you have a quality product, which is delivered on time and offer good customer service, you can look forward to running a profitable online store. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. 
and one lucky winner will win a one-year free subscription to Global Banking and Financial Magazine.